So hello again YouTube, it's Clowny here again, and I was wondering what to do for my next video, and after you saw, or may or not saw, which I appreciate all of my new viewers, thank you very much to all my viewers and subscribers, thank you for helping me get this off the, the ground here, I appreciate every one of you, and if I can ever get up to a number where it feels like I can do a giveaway, I will do a giveaway, so send people my way, the quicker the chance to get that done, the quicker we can get to... A giveaway number or something I feel like it's a number that's good for celebrating it'll still be low <laughs> don't worry uh, so I was wondering what to do for my next video and I was uh, kind of sitting here staring around the shop and I thought huh I think I'll pull something off my wall of fame now what I did I managed to pull up here was this yeah it looks much like a rough cut because it is but it's also a panthered rough cut Rough Cuts, uh, well not Rough Cuts, Panthers, when they first came out, as uh, we all know, went through a massive change. They went from awesome air tanks to a channel change of the internal to a very small air tank, which is now the current running Panther. Well, when they were really big, they were kind of the XBZs of the day. Everybody were putting Panthers in everything, and I decided to put two inside of a Rough Cut. It started off as a uh, project and went to a proof of concept project. The only reason I'm kind of doing it now is because some of the stuff that uh, uh, I've been popping up on uh, some of the web pages and things like that, some work that I have pulled off before, uh, people are, I just feel the need to start showing this stuff off because it's, well, it's kind of a fun thing to do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to quick go over a very fast external view of the, of the blaster. And as you can see, I really not much to tell about it. Pretty much looks like a very stock rough cut, which is uh, what I went for because I really do like to work super clean as possible. Small amount of shell modification right in here, as you can see or may not with the lights. I had to cut away a little bit to make the Panther's uh, actuation system or blast button fit on a both sides of the blaster and then had to find a way to put the pump in. The, if I do another one I'm actually going to put the pump on the inside and an actual decent pump but these were just two pumps made out of the Panther pump itself. Nothing's really gooped in hard or together or anything it's just kind of set in there. These are actually the, the brackets are actually the brackets that held the Panther's barrel to the pump just repurpose them because if you can get free plastic you can get free plastic and something that's already doing the job can do the job again now it is a shotgun uh, I have taken out all four air restrictors on both sides of the blaster to give it the nice puff that it gave to but it doesn't quite work as well as it should and I'll show that after I get done opening the blaster because I have a gen 1 panther on one side and a Gen 2 or 3 on the other. Now they're both the same tanks, but they changed a little bit of the internal to kind of like an update or something like that. Went looking less like a Busby shell to a slight difference. It's not much an air restrictor or anything like that. It's just they just kind of changed it for some strange reason. So uh, we're going to go to a cut view of the open of the blaster here. And we're going to show you the internals. I've taken out all the screws in order to save some time. And uh, it is of note that I had to flip the blaster over because I had taken and put in the new internals on the other side. Very little shell modification, as you can see here. So we're just going to pop it open. I can get that piece loose. And you can see the basic internals. The only thing that was really left is the trigger and the original 4x4 or 2x4 barrel system that they had sitting in the blaster. Everything else has either been handmade or placed in as uh, just basic panther tanks just kind of fit in there with a coupler which I'll show here in a second and zoom in here to the center as you can see which I figure out where the button is. To actuate these panther tanks all I did was replicate the Panther trigger mechanism again itself. 
I simply made two. Uh, it's not polycarbonate because I don't have it. I think it was uh, polyvinyl or whatever they make the light covers out of because my buddy's workplace gave away all the light panels they had and they were 12 by 12 clear plastic squares. I uh, had about two feet worth of them stacked high and I wasn't about to turn that over because it's free plastic. So what the heck. I'd simply made two ramps and staged them slightly further apart from each other and put two screws with two nuts and a washer for spacer over top on some slots so when they slit they sit they slide perfectly straight across from each other uh, the plumbing itself was a bit of an issue because I didn't plan ahead for it like most of us do we just kind of hurry into these things so I did have to drill some holes through the plumbing I mean through the the plastic itself the original hole obviously didn't work and I had to place two more down through the poly carbon uh, the, well the vinyl whatever exactly I'm not entirely sure what it is so I'm going to zoom back out here a little bit and we're going to go up to the barrel assembly. Now, in the barrel assembly, it was really easy. The Panther tanks pretty much slid right in, but they didn't entirely didn't fit tight. So I had to take a piece of a PVC tube and cover over it in here. And I can't quite remember what it was. I think it was half inch, if I remember correct, or maybe one inch. PVC tube. It wasn't really hard. It just slid right over the front of these things. And uh, as you can see, there is a small black mark right here. It's so I could get them lined back up with the trigger mechanism when I had the things out. Uh, there is a set screw on the opposite side of this and one on the opposite barrel on the other side that I decided uh, to take out ahead of time because it's kind of difficult to get to them and flop the thing around on camera. Not a whole lot of you know, excitement there. We're going to move down to the pumps now. Uh, all I did was just glue the original pumps back on. Like I said, this is more of a proof of concept thing than it was an actual battle because it didn't uh, it just kept running into small issues here and there. So I just added the simple, just put the pumps back on. The white parts are the struts that held the inside pump to the barrel assembly originally I just cut them and glued them in so they fit cleanly and that's what makes up the the pump assembly holding on to the blaster shell itself zoom back out so you get a full view again it's, yeah basically relatively simple assembly just used a wire over here then to connect one piece of plastic that slid on top of another so we're going to close this thing back up and get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so that was the internals of the blaster. As you can tell, it's actually fairly simple. Uh, pretty much if it ain't broke, don't fix it. See, I just, as I said, I just mimicked the inside of the original Busby blasters. I made a couple of sliding plates because uh, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a real quick problem solver. I am a hammer, not a book. I solve things by going at them and going at them quickly and just chaining logic together. So that's pretty much how I fix and work on stuff. So that's why it works and that's the way it's going to continue to work. And that's why those insides are just simple. But, you know, the simple something is the easier it is not to fail. Never reinvent the wheel. So as promised, I'm going to have a little firing shot here. I'm not going to go outside because it's wet and cold where I am right now. And uh, it's just miserable now. The problem I uh, came into here, well, like I said when I was making my state earlier in this, that I have two barrel sets, and one's a Gen 1 Panther and the other is not. So you get a nice good pop, and I do realize these are Busby's, but my other ones are all buried, and since it's inside, I really don't feel like digging everything out. It was a range test, I'd show you, but I'm not. So we're just going to shoot the camera. Pretty good pop. You can hear it. Now the other one is the Gen 2 or 3 blaster and you'll see they got a little bit of an anemic hang up. Yeah, and it even leaves one in the barrel, which sucks. 
but <laughs> one side works clean the other side works somewhat clean so not sure what to do with that may end up someday turning it into me a single shot may simply just uh go with uh, another panther i dig out of my supply because i do have a couple a few gen ones left and some gen twos i'm not really kind of a good idea about cutting them up again to lose them because uh they're kind of hard to come by and i don't i use my personal panther a lot and i don't feel like having that thing get lost or broken and then not having a backup because i enjoy my panther so that was my panther rough cut two by four hope you enjoyed it hope you had a good holiday uh, which would have been thanksgiving if anybody is trolling this video years from now on the internet but have a good one and always remember Clowney's watching. Peace.